Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Yesterday, Coin Market Cap, the most popular crypto price list on the entire internet, they put out a tweet in which they stated that XRP is an imposter, that's their word, and they also claimed that XRP was centralized. Well, this didn't sit so well with the XRP community, so um, I started tweeting about it. A bunch of other people in the community were retweeting me and putting out their own tweets about this, and we caught the attention of Coin Market Cap as well as CZ, who was the founder and owner of Binance, which is important because Binance actually bought Coin Market Cap for four hundred million dollars a couple years ago. So CZ uh, needs to be aware of this, and he chimed in as well. And so you might think that's good. Don't good. No, 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 don't get too happy yet. We got sort of a half apology, and I'll explain why I'm saying that. Uh, but they're ignoring all of the additional false information about XRP that's on their website. And I'm telling you, I am 100% certain that they are aware that there's been a tremendous outcry, not just about the tweet that they ended up deleting yesterday where they made these bogus claims, but also they, oh, they know that we're all not happy with the lies that are on their website and they refuse to even address that. But I know, and I'll explain why in a second here, over a million people have seen coin market caps lie since yesterday. Now, I know there's at least that many, but the truth is I think it's many, many millions more than that, and I will explain why in the first part of this video. But um, before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Now, look, um, I've never had any sponsors on this channel, not because of lack of opportunity. I just run this channel as a hobby. Maybe I'll monetize it if I make it more of like a career-oriented thing in the future. I don't know. I leave that option on the table. But uh, the reason I'm even saying that is because um, I'm going to recommend going to live coin watch instead of coin market cap it's my personal favorite i'm not getting paid to say that i've been using them for the last several years and to me it's just just a nicer look it's a cleaner look i like the functionality of it and they're the first one to have live prices on the website so and, and on top of that why go to coin market cap when their staff like they don't they think you're stupid for holding xrp and they're going to lie about our investments like why why should we give them any traffic they've got a revenue model it's got to be it's, what Ad, I don't know. I use Brave Browser, so I don't know if ads pop up. I don't, I don't really use Coin Market Cap unless I ever, um, you know, want to go to their historic price list. That's the only time I ever use their website. Other than that, it's for me. It's just live Coin Watch. So just a friendly suggestion. Do whatever you want, but that's that's where I tend to go. But um, here, just to get everybody caught up to speed, in case you missed the video I put out yesterday or haven't been participating on social media and maybe you missed this, I'll be real quick just to get everybody caught up. Uh, I put out this tweet yesterday morning, and I'll show you the screen grabs in a second. Uh, actually, no, I'll show them first. Let's do that first. Uh, here you go. So here is what it is. And this has been deleted now, but the first tweet was, who's the imposter? And there was this graphic right here. So XRP is on the left and then eight other cryptocurrencies as well. And the first tweet from CoinMarketCap shared with 5.2 million followers was, who's the imposter? And then in a separate tweet, they wrote the answer, XRP, for being controlled and governed by authorities, hence defeating the purpose of cryptocurrencies. Uh, cryptocurrency. All the other coins in this are decentralized and are basically people's crypto. So that's literally not true. It's provably the case that XRP is decentralized. Uh, if Ripple runs four validator nodes out of 100 and something. I can't remember what the number, over 150, I think now. Uh, the, the, nobody, nobody has any special powers over the XRP ledger. It's provably decentralized. And then you have this, or the most popular, famous, most visited, most trafficked website on the entire internet for this purpose stating lies about our investment, which isn't good for our investment. You can understand why people get upset when lies. I want the market to figure this stuff out. I don't want coin market cap to lie and impact my investment. I'm not interested in that. Uh, so that didn't go. So anyway, I, I shared those screen grabs and tweeted out the following. Six hours ago, coin market cap tweeted that XRP is an imposter and that it's not decentralized. All lies. Coin market cap is 5.2 million followers. Talk about poisoning the well. Hours later, it was deleted without an explanation or apology. This is not acceptable. And I'm going to show you something here, um, just so you can see. Um, these are my tweet analytics for this particular tweet. And I'm saying this, I promise, I'm a very humble Midwest dude, not to brag about the reach of my tweet, but to thank all of you, because so many of you listening did participate in this, and you did like my tweet, and you did retweet it, and you spread the message. And th this one tweet for me, as you can see, uh, has been seen by 994,000 people and going up. So it's about to hit a million. It probably will later today. It just went to it's 995,000. It's going rather quickly here. So 
And, and mind you, there are there are much larger uh, accounts, Twitter accounts within the XRP community. Like for instance, the blockchain backer, he retweeted mine as well. But he's got like a quarter million. He got John Deaton with I think somewhere in the neighborhood of two hundred thousand, and they, they were spreading the message too. So the, the reason I wanted to point this out is to just prove the point again that the XRP community is the best, most impressive, most cohesive. Uh, community in all of crypto and we work together and we got each other's backs and we're spreading the message. That's the reason I wanted to share that with you. Like, don't think that your participation doesn't mean something, whether it's just a, a like, because you understand what that means, right? Just make this clear, just in case um, you're not sure how, or you're not familiar with how Twitter works. And I don't mean that in a condescending way, but every time you hit a heart, whoever's tagged in the thread where you're hitting the heart, it pops up in their notification. So like, this tweet got, mine got 824 retweets, 142 quote retweets, and 2,768 likes. Every single one of those likes made a pop-up in CoinMarketCap's feed. And, and that's just one tweet from one guy, me, and you guys all clicking on it. And I put out other tweets, and they got a bunch of other views. And other tweets with accounts, again, bigger than mine, I'm sure their numbers are bigger than mine. So it's, that's why I said there's probably millions and millions of people that have seen the lie now, and CoinMarketCap did get called out. And so here's what blocked the blockchain backer tweeted out in, in sharing what I, in sharing my tweet, he, he retweeted it and wrote, <coughs> excuse me, absolutely bizarre for Binance, the creator of Binance token, BNB, and owner of CoinMarketCap to do this. Yeah, no kidding. And then separately, he had this, which I thought was on point, so I wanted to share it with you. He wrote, if XRP was going to zero, it would do it on its own. It wouldn't need congressional representatives spreading fake emails as truths media outlets on the attack, SEC lawsuits, and coin market cap to alter rankings. It would do just it on its own, and it hasn't. Well, isn't that the truth? And I, I just want free markets to figure this out anyway. If XRP ends up not having long-term viability, I want it to be because uh, it got out-competed for what, various use cases. And that I could live with. That'd be painful monetarily because I have a bunch of it. <laughs> but I could live with that, though, as long as it gets a fair shake here. But I don't need coin market cap and the SEC tearing it down. Just saying. Uh, and then there was this. So attorney John Deaton, he shared the, the, my tweet as well. And he wrote, a week ago, I asked people, have they noticed the increased FUD around XRP lately? Prediction. It will continue to increase as we get closer to the resolution of the case. Uh, I think that's perfectly reasonable. It's certainly been increasing. And coin market cap to explicitly call out XRP like that to 5.2 million followers. Thank God our community is gigantic and we have reach. Man, can you imagine if they were picking on a small cap coin? There would be no recourse. You know, I guess fewer people are paying attention to the smaller cap ones. But you get the cut of my jib, right? I'm just glad we're a, a large community and we all work together to combat all this nonsense. It really grinds my gears, folks. And uh, so Coin Market Cap, they half apologize. They put out the, the apology that's on your screen. I'll read it, but I want to note before reading it, they don't mention XRP in this apology. And their website has all sorts of false information still. So check this out. Here's what Coin Market Cap wrote. We made a mistake. Coin Market Cap does not want to compare the merits of any crypto over the other. A new team member was not familiar enough with our policy on commenting on other projects, but now they are. We aim to be unbiased and let the algorithms do the talking. So it's not even technically an apology. They, they admitted they made a mistake that's not quite the same as an apology, and they don't even mention XRP. Now, mind you, <laughs> separately, after, um, after I, I shared that, that tweet yesterday morning, which I just reread on, on the, in this video, I put out a separate tweet, um, and I don't have that exact one pulled up for this video, it doesn't matter, but I, I ended up um, doing a bunch of uh, research after that, which is what prompted me to make a video about it. Yes, I actually wasn't going to, I was, like, uh, I was like, maybe I'll mention it in a video, but I made a dedicated video to it after I realized that it wasn't just the tweet, it was also their website. Their website has a bunch of false information. And so I tweeted about that, and, and that was widely circulated as well, and a bunch of other people in the community, they were sharing the same screen grabs that I, I created, and that's all well and good. I like that. I appreciate it. We're all getting the message out there. And um, and, and so, again, that, that widely was, was tweeted. So the reason they even address this, to be clear, though, is because it caught the attention of CZ and and um, and Coin Market Cap, the person that runs the web, whoever's seeing that, because there were so many endless notifications. So we were blowing up the notifications of CZ, whose company Binance owns Coin Market Cap and Coin Market Cap. There was no way for them to avoid this. Okay, I'm telling you, folks, endless bombardment as a result of this. So they addressed this sort of half-heartedly, but they did not address 
all of the nonsense claims that are on their actual website, which remain today. And they, they just, they're, they're refusing to address this. So I'm pointing it out. And so here's what I wrote to CoinMarketCap yesterday. I wrote, what about all this on your actual website? It mirrors what your new team member tweeted. It says XRP is centralized. Your site takes it even further, though, by editorializing. XRP is, quote, not as popular as other blockchains, end quote. Any plans to correct the false information on your site? And so, and that one was, was hard at a whole bunch, uh, 2,041 times at this point, uh, 499 retweets. So like, I'm telling you, folks, they're aware of this. They know this is on their damn website. And I ran through, so I'm going to go through the screen grabs. I've got four of them I, I shared um, yesterday, so I'm going to go through them again. But I'm, this is the update here. They sort of apologized, and now they're ignoring us. And I, I went to their website. You know, this is it. You can scroll down here. All the same nonsense. It's still here about XRP not being uh, a very popular uh, cryptocurrency and it being centralized. It's it's all right here. They're just continuing to lie on the website, and they, they won't even address this, folks. That's why I'm making a follow-up video on this. They don't even care. They say that, oh, we want to be unbiased, and here's our half-hearted apology, if you can even call it an apology to any degree. I don't really, I guess you really can't. They're, they didn't even say sorry. Uh, but we're just supposed to be okay with this and just take it, right? No, screw coin market cap. Screw coin, they can suck it as far as I'm concerned. And so uh, my fellow XRP YouTuber, Crypto Eddie, um, she also brought this to the attention of CZ, who again, of course, is the founder and CEO of Binance, which owns coin market cap. And he responded. And he, he wrote to Crypto Eddie and he said, I asked, mistake by a new joiner. All his managers know too now. Shouldn't happen again. Sorry about that. As platforms, we should remain neutral to the extent possible. Now, at first I saw that. It was early in the day and I was like, I can appreciate that. But I brought to his attention the tweet that's on your screen now. I said, hey, I appreciate you acknowledging the CZ, but the CoinMarketCap website is currently delivering the same message as the employee that manages the Twitter account. The site also editorializes, stating that XRP is not as popular as other blockchains. Nothing from them. And again, this was retweeted. Other people pointed out. It wasn't just me. It's just, I'm not some sort of one-man army here. It's We're a whole team. or a whole community. And there's a 0% chance he's unaware of this, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, here's a tweet from former Ripple employee Matt Hamilton. He said, how about you correct the record and update the misinformation on the coin market cap website? Your staffer's tweet is a mistake seated in a swamp of misinformation that you are perpetuating. I like that one. Mr. Hamlin gets a full-on clap for that one. Hell yeah, that's absolutely correct. And, uh, and then there was this from the blockchain backer also. You should be aware of this. He wrote, remember when CoinMarketCap had the circulating supply of XRP, uh, of XRP wrong for a week during May 2021? When Elon went on Saturday Night Live and... It was super lucky by doing that because it altered the rankings, moving XRP down, but put Binance coin in the middle of Ethereum and Doge, as you can see on the screen. So what he's talking about here on the left, Binance coin was number three market cap at the time. Here on the right, you can see the circulating supply misreported. And it went on actually, I think for more than a week. I thought it was, I thought it was longer than that. But uh, they were saying that the circulating supply of XRP at the time was 35 billion. No, at the time it was more like 46, 47 billion, whatever. It was somewhere around there way off, which made XRP lower in market cap than it should have been. Well, how, isn't that convenient? It's it's just the most ridiculous, disgusting stuff here. And then tag XRP, um, who has been heavy on the SEC versus Ripple stuff, wrote the following. I tried to leave Twitter and watch from the sidelines, but you snakes at coin market cap sure are making it hard. No one believes your blatant lies. CZ and Binance, you're not the smartest people in the room. And then he linked to this which is uh, from, uh, I guess, the law firm Ford O'Brien Landy. And uh, there's a lawsuit, and I can't speak to the merit of this, but I'll just note that there's a lawsuit against Binance, or, or I'm sorry, against CoinMarketCap, actually, uh, from this date, seven, uh, September 17th, 2021. So towards the later part of last year. Crypto investor accuses crypto ranking site of price manipulation. Here you go. A cryptocurrency investor in Arizona has alleged that digital asset ranking site CoinMarketCap.com unfairly suppressed the ranking of a token that competes directly with the digital currency issued by CoinMarketCap's corporate owner, Binance Capital Management. Specifically, CoinMarketCap, Binance, and several Binance executives are accused of suppressing the ranking and consequently manipulating the price of digital asset HEX, H-E-X. 
The investor's complaint alleges that the defendants violated the Commodity Exchange Act, antitrust law, and Arizona's consumer fraud act. So that, I don't know much more beyond that. I just kind of skimmed over this whole thing. But uh, it's another claim there, and given the shadiness that we've seen from coin market cap to this point, I'm not exactly thrilled with them. I think I think my position and everybody else in our community, I think it's pretty rational and pretty reasonable to just ask for a level playing field, you know, and not do things that materially harm the investors of those who are supposed to be your customers and the source of your ad revenue or whatever the hell your business model is to make money on coin market cap specifically. Maybe no crap on us. That would be nice. That'd be a really good start. How about some apologies too on top of that? It really burns my biscuits, folks. But thank you to everybody that participated, whether you're harding and retweeting my stuff or everybody else. I think a lot of people are just retweeting everything, which is really helpful, just everything we can to just get the word out. Much appreciated. So I do think that millions of people saw this, which is why Coin Market Cap. I didn't even, I honestly, I didn't even think we'd get that response. It wasn't even an, a real apology. I didn't even think we'd get that, though. But I'll wrap up here. I am not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.